Hello there, um, my name is Diam from AffiliateTechSupport.com I'm going to show you how to install Prosper 202 um, It's just going to take you less than 5 minutes, it's pretty easy So let's get started First thing you got to do is log into your cPanel account on your domain name which I've already done here and then click on this box here and type in MySQL click on MySQL databases we gotta set up a new database for Prosper. I'm gonna call mine Prosper. Create database. Added the database affiliate underscore Prosper. Go back. Then we gotta create a new user. I'm gonna call this one Prosper as well. For the password, I'm gonna use the password generator right click copy this password I'm gonna open up a new notepad and type in prosper paste my password in there yes I have copied this password use password then you click on create user Okay, added user affiliate underscore prosper with password dunk. So now copy the username, right click, copy, go into your notepad document and go prosper user. So you got both those stored for later. Go back, click on Add user to database, the user affiliate underscore prosper, prosper, add all privileges, make changes. Okay, that's all done. I'm gonna go back home. Next thing you gotta do is download Prosper. Um, just uh, type in Prosper202 download or see the link below this video. Go to the download link here, click it, I'm just going to save mine on the desktop, press save, it's downloaded, then we're going to go back to cPanel, I'm going to type in file to bring up the file manager. Okay, I've uh, decided to install Prosper in a subdomain, which I've already created. Um, but if you're you will, we're gonna install it just on your root domain, just do not click this directory right here. Just stay in your root directory. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna upload the zip file. Upload. Choose the file on my desktop again and create the click on the prosper file open just wait for that to finish uploading okay that's all complete close this go back to your cpanel press reload click on the file press extract and extract files okay that's all done close now you see we got a directory here called prosper 202 um, we don't want it to be inside the Prosper202 directory, so we're just going to move the files. So I'm going to double click on this. And we're going to click Select All. Then click Move File. And we want to move it just up a directory, so I'm just going to delete this. So the thing you do, you just delete where it says Prosper202. 161 delete that press move files that's all good go up one level then you'll see that all the files are here close that one the next thing we gotta do is open up the URL to where we put the files so in my case prosper dot affiliate techsupport.com press enter 
So here it says there doesn't seem to be a 202-config.pop. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna create that now. So click create. Okay, we got all this. Let's go. So the database name is the same as the username we store in our text file. So I'm gonna bring that up. Right click, copy. Delete that, left click, paste. Username, exactly the same. Left click, paste. Password. And leave this as it is. Don't touch any of that. Submit. Alright, so it accepted our details. Press run the install. You can read through this if you want. Just type in your email. I'm going to type in stian at My username is just going to be Stian. You can type in whatever you want here. Password. Type in a password and click install. Success, that's it. Now what you got to do is just go to this address right here. Click it. Log in with your username and password. Sign in. And there you go, Prosper is installed and ready to use. This is the actual tracking section right here, tracking 202. Alright, thank you very much for watching this video and see you soon.